Okay, this video is for ladies. So men, any men on this uh, video, get off, please. And three seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I already give you a few seconds, extra seconds. But this video is actually for women who has a man. You're in a relationship. I'm going to tell you, ladies, I promise you, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not making this up. I'm so serious. You can get anything you want out of a man. I'm talking about anything. You can make him do whatever it is you want him to do. Have him eating at your hand just like this. I'm telling you. And let me tell you how. Kindness. Okay? Kindness. Don't be stupid now. But I'm just saying, be kind. And when I say that, you know, don't no man want to come home to all no yelling and stuff. You know, cook for the man. You know, why don't you ask him what he wants to eat? Text him nice stuff at work. Tell him how much you appreciate him and how much you love him. Do that. You know, you trying to be into your masculine energy. I don't care what no woman says. And let me tell you something. This is just the truth. Now, there are a few. I will say there are some exceptions because some women have decided they don't want to be married and and i get it i promise you i do but the majority of women who say that i don't believe it i believe that they just have given up but there are some women who who, who say they don't want to be married I, they, they're telling the truth for whatever reason but the majority of them i'm going to say they want to be married and because women are just emotional by nature you know we're emotional creatures so don't fall into this don't nobody want to be a baby mama uh, for the most part i say that they don't want to be don't 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 believe that they want to be a married woman they want to have a family women are emotional people so instead of you always yelling and fussing why don't you start being kind to him now again don't let no man talk to you in any kind of way don't do that i'm, I'm telling you that's the biggest don't know when they started you you can't do that but I'm telling you, people, you as the woman dictate the relationship. You, the, the man will do whatever you want him to do. I'm telling you, he will have on his Superman costume, and it won't even be a costume. He will be Clark Kent and Superman. You know, don't let a man, don't let these men tell you they're just not the romantic type. They are for the right woman. Don't let a man tell you, you know, like they're not mushy and all this kind of stuff. They are for the right woman. I'm here to tell you that. But you're not going to get it with all this fussing and cussing and stay off the phone with your girlfriends all the time with all that gossiping. I'm trying to tell you now, you can't do that. What you have to do is, men, they like egos. So, you know, who stuck his ego? Honey, you know what? I was thinking about you today, and I was just thinking about how handsome you are. Honey, you know what? I was just thinking about the other day, you know, how when you, 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 you brought me home those flowers, and I was just saying... How did I get so lucky to have a man that just loves me like this? You know, like I tell my husband, you know, because he is so kind to me. You know, he says the nicest things to me, but I set the tone. You know, honey, I was in the store and I saw this, 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 this shirt. And I said, oh my gosh, nobody can wear this like my husband. Or, you know, honey, I know you have to do something today. I know you have a meeting today. Um, but if you just, you know, remember that I love you and thank you so much for always sacrificing for our family. You know, uh, I just sent him a, a text if he has to leave in the morning early, if he has to go somewhere before I get up. You know, it's, I sent him a text and just a voice text, not a voice text, like a video text and tell him how much I love him and how handsome he is. And, Oh my gosh, I smelt, I, I didn't see you, but I, I smelt the lingering cologne, you know? Just so, they like silly stuff. They, they're like, they're grown men, but they're children somewhat. I'm just telling you, men are, they, trust me. And what I'm saying is, when you start setting a tone for how you want your man to treat you, it's nothing like it. You have him doing whatever you want to do. Like I'm trying to tell you, he will work a thousand times over time just to get you that new dress you want. 
ought to buy you that house. And another thing too, don't put unrealistic, unrealistic expectations on a man because, you know, women, we don't realize what they deal with, what men deal with. They deal with a lot of ego stuff and, you know, you don't want them to feel like, you know, they're not enough. And you, as a woman, don't feel like, you, you, you always have to know that you are enough. I don't care how, like all these BBLs, I'm not trying to be funny. A BBL don't have nothing on a woman that a man loves. Doesn't matter how her shape is. You should try to work out and keep yourself up. That's just a disclaimer I'm just going to give to you. But I'm just letting you know, seriously, if a man loves you, he's not concerning himself with no other woman. He's just concerning himself with you. So be grateful in that. And, you know, and another thing too, like, be grateful for what your what the what God has allowed for your husband to be a blessing to your family. You know, like I would always tell my husband how thankful I am and how grateful I am for him. Tell your husband or your man how grateful you are for him. Cause if he's your man, you can he will be your husband. So I'm gonna tell him. I'm trying to tell you how, how it works. But know that you are worthy enough and you can't have all those things that your heart desires stop letting people tell you too that it's too good to be true no it's not because when god blesses you it is good and it's true and you can have all of those things if you just really surrender to god you are not going to be able to get a man first of all to do anything to live in that way anyway unless he's living in the light and sometimes it takes a woman to guide her man to the light because sometimes they just they they need guidance, you know. And even though the man is the head of the house, the head of the household, you know you know what the old folks say. But you are as the woman, you the neck that turn the household. Whatever it is that you want your man to do, I promise you, he will do it happily if you just treat him like a man. And I say that because too many women be in their masculine energy too much. You want to be the man. You want to be the one to talk all the trash. You want to cuss the man out. This one say, man, that's messy. So I, I cannot stand that. I cannot stand it. Like just to hear a woman going off and, you know, you have. I'm a boss. Well, you know, I've been coining that term. I'm a uh, corn. I mean, uh, coining that term. I mean, coining that term many, many years ago. Called myself a beautiful boss chick. I'm a boss, a real one. But being a boss doesn't mean you have to talk to your man in a kind of way. Being a boss doesn't mean you can't be kind. That's what's being a boss. Kindness. I'm trying to tell you, kindness. Being a light for people, living your life for the Lord. You, Because folks gonna do what they wanna do anyway. But you do what you have to do to glorify God's kingdom, let God deal with his people. But you can be a light that people can look to and say, my goodness, if God did it for her, I know he can do it for me. Because I see it all the time. God did it for them. I know he can do it for me. Because God doesn't love them no more than he loves me. But this is what I'm saying. This is how this all starts at the house. This is how it starts with your man before you before he becomes your husband. A man to be hurt. I'm trying to get put that ring on your finger. I'm trying to take and you know what? Just just me talking. And if he does that, don't spend no time trying to plan a wedding. Go ahead on to the courthouse. Then you can plan your wedding later. You need to, you need to go ahead and lock it down. Cause see, we get too big and too 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 much on planning the, the wedding, and not the marriage. Letting the marriage be of God, and putting God first in your marriage. I, I can't express that to you enough. If you do not have God first in your marriage, you do not. I repeat, you 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 sitting on sinking sand. Let me tell you something. This is why the devil is the prince of this earth, because the devil does bless, but nothing lasts other than what God has ordained. I'm I'm telling you this, but. Because I'm telling you what I know, not what I heard. We can all want things, and we can think this is what we want, but you have to open yourself and surrender up to the Lord. Surrender yourself to the Lord so he can give you what it is that he wants for you so you can walk in your destiny and your calling. That's all I'm saying. And, you know, I know people may think a lot of different things about me. That, they've been thinking that a long time, but I don't, I'm not trying to change nobody's story or nobody whatever somebody thinking about me. That's fine. Keep, keep going and, and think up some more stuff too and listen to some other stuff. I'm good over here. But my thing is the right people, God will make sure you are the right, you, your, your reputation is, is good in the minds of the right people who are going to be a part of your destiny. So don't worry about nothing else. But listen, anyway, ladies, I hope you take my advice. Learn how to cook. Get you some cookbooks too. Please, 
I don't care what kind of man tell you, what man tell you. I don't have to have a woman that cook. Yes, they like the women to cook. Kiata loves you, okay? Go in.